my, I've got an older brother. He wasn't very good at football, but we used to have a little kick around, a little bit of a challenge with each other. And, um, yeah, just I, I loved playing against the boys, a bit of a tomboy as a girl. So, growing up, just wanting to play football, wanting to get better, and then eventually got into um, Portsmouth. Played at Portsmouth till I was about under-16s. I had a stint at Haven, um, a year at Brighton. I've known Matty for years, and he just said to me, Chesh, come to Chai. It's the best move I've ever made. Yeah, it was unfortunate that there wasn't enough girls' teams around or enough girls to create a team, but I think the physicality and the ability to play against boys as a youngster and, and then grub, it, it makes you that little bit sharper, that little bit quicker and that little bit more aggressive. And I think that is, is a part to a game that sometimes women's games lack. Um, I think it's a privilege to play against boys when you're younger as well because it teaches you different aspects of the game. Um, I think this is my fifth season, fourth or fifth season. Um, I can't imagine going anywhere else, if I'm honest. It's, it's not only helped me as a footballer, but when the going's got tough and some situations have happened in my life, this team have been my family and they've, they've got me out some very dark places, so, yeah, I love it. There's been some dark times, don't get me wrong, there's been some times when we're finishing nearly rock bottom in the league and we're, we just had a bit of a shocker season. Last season was very different. Um, we won games in style, we were happy as a team and the development was incredible. And this year, we're developing as much and I, this club's going to go somewhere special. I think it's just a matter of time. Um, I'm a teacher um, and in an inclusion unit in Southampton. Very demanding job, very physical. I teach many subjects um, and get quite a bit of grief from the students. But yeah, I wouldn't change that for a world. I'd, obviously, I'd love to play football full time, but my job is my job and it, it puts my boots on my feet and food on the table. So it's hard, don't get me wrong. We train late on a Tuesday, late on a Thursday, and a lot of the time I'm tired. Um, it can cause me to be tired the next day, especially on a Monday morning after a tough game. It is hard, but I wouldn't change it for the world, and I think it's a game that I've played all my life. So you just learn to deal with it. Obviously, if the opportunity came up that we didn't have to work and we could just play football, that'd be incredible. The club, the club, the management staff and the team. I think we play because we love the sport and we love the club, no other reason really. I think Kelly Smith was a big role model growing up for me. Um, watching her play and looking at the life trivia she went through, she, she had it quite tough, same as Farrell Williams. Life isn't plain sailing and just because you play football doesn't mean that negative things don't happen to you. So to look at them and how far they went with their battles and their trivias, I thought I can do that too. Have. My support network is incredible. Um, I've got my brother, um, my adopted mum and dad, Ed and Lynn. They've, they support me, they come to every home game and they do everything possible. They sponsor me and my friends, a lot of my friends are here, but my friends outside of football are also incredible. And without them, I don't know where I'd be. Obviously, it's every, every player's dream to play the highest level, isn't it? But I think with this club, I'd love to go Super League. That would be my, my ambition as a player. Not sure how many years I've got left, but I would love to push for Super League. Um, yeah, that's, that's my dream. The adrenaline, the adrenaline, the buzz, the excitement, scoring a goal, not that I score many of them, but the celebration of somebody else scoring a goal and the teamwork and the team effort, it's, it's that togetherness, it's, it's just a great buzz. It was a privilege, it was a privilege um, and it was an honour for Matt to ask me. Obviously I was gutted Emma couldn't play, um, but her support was also incredible. It was a big day for the club, it was a big game. And I thought we held our own for the majority of the game. It was challenging for me as a person to to have that responsibility as well as managing my own needs, but yeah, it's good, right? It's the most important thing about what we do, I think, it's inspiring the youth, it's for them to then come through and do a better job than what we're doing now. We've got some class players in our development and in our youth, 
and I think they will be the bigger, better chai. Future's, future's bright, especially for chai.